Baja California is 1,000 miles in length and is divided into two states, Baja Norte and Baja Sur. Baja Sur is best known for Cabo San Lucas, where many tourists vacation, recreate, and reside. Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo are very active fishing, tourist, and resort towns, but to the north lies the small town of Los Viriles. Los Viriles is located in a geographical area that is called the East Cape and is world famous for its fishing, windsurfing, sailing, and scuba diving. Los Viriles is located just off the tourist trail, and the many who travel here do so to enjoy warm waters, wonderful climate, and it's a great place to get away from the colder winter months in the United States. Los Bereles is located equal distance between Cabo San Lucas and La Paz, the capital of Baja Sur. It is a town that has attracted many Americans who have called Los Bereles their winter home away from home, one of which was the late Mount Bachelor Rotarian Paul Heidke. Over the years, Paul initiated many projects for the East Cape area when he resided there, the first being starting a rotary club in Los Viriles. Paul was kind of bigger than life, as most of us knew Paul. Tremendous uh, personality, very funny, um, but also did not think small, thought big. Thought, well, if we can imagine it, we can probably do it. And the giving that he would give to other people, that's what he was all about. Yes, he was funny, yes, he was hilarious at parties, he was a great cook, but more importantly than anything else, he would do anything to help you if you needed help. That was his defining feature. That is a Rotarian. His last project in Los Bereles was one initiated by a local nurse named Charlene Wenger to start a dental and health clinic and provide affordable health and dental care to the many residents in the East Cape area who simply went without care because of the high cost. And Paul was instrumental in getting Rotary started in our community, number one. He saw the areas of concern, environmental, health, education, and he was instrumental in getting my medical and dental clinic going. He gave me the concept in my brain. I met him before I became a Rotarian and we talked and he said, with your background, sister, you should be doing something in the community. And he said, let me make a few suggestions. And when he made those suggestions, I followed up on them. As a result, I have a very busy dental clinic. And now as a result of him suggesting I do my own medical clinic, I have my own medical clinic under East Cape Health Center. When the cost and political dilemmas seem to bog char down at every corner, it was Paul that came to her side and helped her make her dream come true. Paul used the power of Rotary to keep the ball rolling in the right direction. The East Cape Dental and Health Clinics were finally established in 2006 under the guidance of Charlene Wenger and the partnership of Amerimed. That partnership was dissolved in 2012. In 2013, a permanent location was found for the health clinic, and its location is conveniently located right next to the dental clinic on Main Street. But how does a clinic survive that provides free health care to low-income individuals? Well, many embraced the concept of providing modern health care to its citizens. The clinic's sustainability is based in part on the patrons who can pay for their health care services, and this helps offset the cost of running the clinic so that those who are not able to pay for health care can get it for a significantly reduced fee. Donations from Rotary and equipment provided by hospitals and corporations have made the dream of the East Cape Dental and Health Clinics a reality. Recently, a garage full of equipment housed locally was loaded into a U-Haul truck and driven down to Los Breles. This needed equipment is just a small way Rotarians in Central Oregon are helping the East Cape Clinic keep their operating costs down. Another way the East Cape Clinic is able to exist is to survive by its grants and monetary donations from the Rotary Foundation, World Community Service, and many Central Oregon Rotary Clubs, local clubs, who have donated to the clinic's needs. Every little bit helps. The clinic is now operating at full steam, and Char is now implementing a new health program called Passport to Health. Its concept is genius. Local children come to the clinic free of charge, and they are provided a checkup of internal organs, the heart and the brain, 
have a dental exam and eye exam, and their vital signs are then recorded. This data is then stored in a database, so when a child comes back again, his or her medical history is pulled, and doctors do not have to start from scratch with each patient. Having this kind of health service in the East Cape area is huge. Prior to the opening of the dental and health clinics, it meant having to drive to La Paz or Cabo San Lucas, and for many, the cost of travel, the loss of day's wages, or the cost of medical care was the factor as to why many locals simply did not have this care before. Now having the dental and health clinics located centrally means better and convenient health care for so many who did not have this afforded to them prior. Passport to Health will change the lives of many who call the East Cape home. So the Passport to Health will uh, enable us to identify children who may have disease or infection uh, that would not normally be identified through an annual physical exam. We're planning to do the physical exam, laboratory, diagnostics, uh, ultrasound, and um, uh, oral hygiene. And that's to make sure that the whole body is taken care of. Through the hard work of the Rotary Foundation, World Community Service members, and many other Rotarian members, the East Cape Dental and Health Clinics became a reality. The clinic now has an ambulance that is serving the entire area and is the first ever to serve Los Briles and the East Cape area. They have an ultrasound machine that has already been useful and enables doctors to see vital organs, a baby's progress or to get a 3D look inside the body to detect tumors and other health situations that may arise in patients. Especially for all the children because they have to undergo many operations or other medical uh, treatments when they are diagnosed too late. So if you have a er an early diagnosis, it, it's always helping the child itself uh, uh, to, to come out of the disease uh, better than you, when you do it too late. The clinic still needs more supplies and equipment, and the grant money will surely help purchase these. Those who visit the clinic and are able to pay for their health care assist with its sustainability by providing cash flow, which helps cover the operating costs of running the clinic. Char's dream, Paul's dream, and the dream of many has now come true, and modern health care is now easily available in Los Briles. Polio eradication, building a playground for a town, a water purification system for a school, a dorm that enables kids to stay at their school to study, a community computer lab, are just some of the things Rotary is doing to make the world a better place. All of these things that Rotarians do in their own communities to assist local nonprofits and those in need is what Rotary is all about. Your donations, your dues, no matter how small, they all add up. Rotary International, World Community Service, and the Rotary Foundation are truly making Los Briles a better place. It's all about the service above self mantra of Rotary that is making it happen. And now my life has become service above self. And it's hard to explain to family members what that means. Rotary family members understand. Most Rotaries know. But very few family members understand that the giving you do to the community changes you on the inside somehow in a better way. You know you're helping society at large when you do just one or two good things for people.